Welcome back, West Texas. I'm here now with that full forecast. Starting you off with these current temperatures because it is starting to get chilly tonight. We had a fairly cold day where highs only really got into the 50s, so we are starting to see the repercussions of that as we continue into tonight. We've dropped about 10 degrees so far since seeing those highs. Just about everybody in the 40s. You see 43 degrees here in San Angelo, 41 up here in Aveline. It's a little bit warmer down here in the southern parts of the Concho Valley. You see up to 49 degrees in Ozona and Sonora, even 46 down here in Junction. A few places already in the 30s. You see East and Comanche already at 38 and 39 degrees, but skies are fairly clear, so we're going to continue to lose some of that heat as we continue into tonight. Seeing lows in the upper 20s for everybody, so we will be dropping below freezing. We got a few places still in those lower 30s. You see Comanche here right at 30 degrees and Midland all the way over here on the other side at 31, but everyone is below freezing. We're going to see those very chilly temperatures, so definitely make sure you're staying prepared tonight, but tomorrow we will slowly warm up. It's going to be a slightly warmer day than we saw today getting into the 60s. So a good 10 degree jump or so, but you're still going to see those colder temperatures in the morning time you see in those 30s at 8 a.m. But we quickly jump into the 40s by 10 and continue with that trend as we get into midday where we'll see those highs around 66 degrees. So going over these next couple of days, we will continue to see mostly warm temperatures. You see Wednesday and Thursday, we get a slight warming trend wet Thursday getting up into the 70s before a cold front on Thursday night drops our temperatures on Friday back down into the 40s may even bring us a little bit of icy mix or rainfall as well. Well, but as we get into Saturday, that warming trend is going to continue. It's going to be a quick blip of cold before we get back to normal. We see temperatures a lot closer to average. So right now we've got this high pressure over here sitting over northern Texas. That's bringing in some of that nicer northern air, but that's going to move to the side as we get through the rest of this week. And this low pressure system is going to start to make its way off the mountains with this cold front attached to it. So as we continue through Wednesday, it's just going to slowly inch its way down to the, into Texas until we see that cold front pass through around Thursday evening. Now, as models update, they show this front moving faster and faster, and the sooner we see it, the longer we're going to have those colder temperatures and the higher possibility that we could see some of that icy, some more of that ice fall instead of just rainfall. Now, it's not looking like it's going to be snow or anything like that, mainly rain in the beginning because, again, we're going to have those colder temperatures, uh, excuse me, those above freezing temperatures as we start. But as the nighttime continues and we really get into Friday morning, we do have that possibility of seeing even a little bit of iciness. I don't want to harp on it too long because models are not exactly sure on what we'll see, but we know that it is going to be light, so it's not going to be much at all. And if we do see anything icy, it will mainly just be sleet because from top to bottom, our atmosphere is not actually that cold. So it will be a very short lived moment. And afterwards, as we continue past the weekend, even on Saturday, we'll have high pressure make its way into the area, giving us the ability to warm up as we continue into the weekend and even the beginning of next week. So you see, we've got that quick drop in temperatures on Friday, but as we continue into the weekend and next week, you see temperatures get into the 60s on Saturday, 70s by the time we start out next week, and we'll see a lot more of that sunshine too.